About the literary scene again, says Maury. I ask him if he recognized himself. No, he says, the man in the poem must be three other lovers. Did you recognize her? Only the left rib of which he'd fashioned the new woman. Will you publish it in the magazine? Yes, he says, it's a good poem. But why won't the girl invent? And don't you think she would if she knew how? Pity her, Maury. She preferred to write about sorcerers, ghosts, gods, heroes, but all she knows is you. In the middle of the night, I wake and no more met me. I call him on the telephone and say, I use you too, and know that it is indefensible in friendship and as art. Maury waits for me to say, and I'll never do it again, but I'm silent the night and the day. For one month, I cannot write a word. The following Monday, I sit down, sharpen my pencil, and invent a story about Maury and me having this conversation, which has taken root in a corner of my mind where it will, henceforward, sprout a small but perennial despair. I put the story in an envelope and send it to Maury. <laughs> Sam woke around 3.30 p.m. and saw no emails from Shu. He made a smoothie. He lay on his bed and stared at his computer screen. He showered and put on clothes and opened the Microsoft Word file of his poetry. He looked at his email. About an hour later, it was dark outside. Sam ate cereal with soy milk. He put things on eBay and then tried to guess the password to Sheila's email account, not thinking he would be successful and not being successful. He did 50 jumping jacks. God, I felt fucked lying on the bed, he said to Lewis a few hours later on Gmail chat. I wanted to fall asleep immediately, but that is impossible. I need to fall asleep any second now. Just fall down asleep. <laughs> so, so I want to start with the, with the simplest question I can think what is the novella, and why write it? And uh, I found this in, in a, an unsigned review of a book by Alice Munro in the Atlantic uh, about novellas. It says, a novella can be a powerful literary form, but it too often serves as a destination for, bloated short story, for a bloated <laughs> short story and or an underdeveloped novel. So why write a novella, and what why write a sh well, let's just call it why write a short novel? And what is it? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I think you both don't have very, very clear, uh, clear answers. Uh, I don't, I naturally don't write long books only because it takes me so long to get any one single page done. Um, I think what is true about the novella is true what we've always said and heard said about the short story. It is really more like a poem than it is like a novel. It has a much clearer outline, it has more, a clearer shape. It doesn't sprawl. You can't get everything into it. You can't have uh, digressions. Uh, 
as I say this, I'm thinking of the digressions in, in Lucinella, but <laughs> on the whole, you are constrained to be clearer, neater. I, I, let me say that I've also found that through a writing children's book, which I've done some, you can do anything, you can write anything in a children's book, but somehow the everything has to be, have a purer line uh, than, than a, 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 an adult. No. <laughs> <clears throat> I think to me a novella just means a certain length, which I haven't really defined in my head. But it'll be, I guess, fifteen thousand to to forty, thirty thousand words. And why write it? That question to me would be the same as just why write anything. Because after you write something, it's going to have a form no matter what. Like you're, like it can be called a story or a novel or a poem, but there's always going to be a name for it. So the question of why write a novel would just be why write, which I can't answer. <laughs> <laughs> thinking for a long time. Well, one of the things that I'm interested in is how do you know that the project you're working on is done? Um, so I think that question really relates to the length of the book. Um, and I think it, it goes a long way towards explaining uh, why some books are a thousand pages and why some books are, you know, why some literary ideas are a short story. Um, how do you know, how do you know that a book is, is finished for you? For me, those are two separate questions. One of the reasons I write briefly, shortly, is because I keep rewriting. My, my mode of composition is to rewrite and always going back to the beginning and rewriting. Uh, how I know I've done, I, I, I'm going to have to take those two questions. How I know I've done is when I stop rewriting. But as I just showed you, I keep rewriting every time I write. So, um, I mean, I, I bet I bet you know you know you know about this. You have a sentence and there's an and in it. You take the and out for the period, you make a capital right. And then next time you come you take that away and you put an and. <laughs> so you can really spend I have a poet in here who does this. You can spend several weeks, months, a year doing that. Now the way the way I know, I mean the way I know that I'm done is when I have more or less stopped rewriting. Now this has nothing to do with length. That's why I say that. I think my books tend to be short because my method is to cut, to take away as much as possible. I don't know why, but I want to. My I have on my on my desk a. Uh, a, a Oh, am I going to forget what they're called? The, 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 the early Greek, the 3,000 year old Greek faces Earth. that. Uh, it like almost looks, it, it looks like, it looks more like a, a spoon, the faces, where there's nothing, nothing there except the shape of the face and the nose. I would love to get to that. Sigladic. <laughs> Sigladic, yeah. I said I was going to post somebody in there would give me the words I can't remember. <laughs> Tanya, you said that you you set out to write a short book in the case of shoplifting. What what makes you set out to write a short book? Uh, you, you know, that form when you said it was maybe fifteen thousand words, maybe it's longer, maybe it's shorter. What's attractive to to you about that kind of that kind of thing? In this case, it was just wanting to have a book in a series. <laughs> I think, to me, anything longer than, say, 15,000 words is, I feel like I can express whatever I want to express at any given moment, given longer than 15,000 words. just come out a little different if it's like 15,000 or 50,000 
but I'll still feel like I've expressed the same thing. <laughs> and I feel similarly to Lori in terms of when I know when I'm done, just when I'm rewriting a lot less. Never, never nothing. You never stop rewriting, but you stop massive rewriting. Yeah. And ideally, I want every word, like if I change one word, I know that in my ideal of the novel or the book, changing one word is going to affect everything. So that's probably why I don't write longer books. <laughs> it's just yes. too hard. That is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best of ones. It's just too hard. <laughs> do, do, you, do either of you think about readers in, in, in composing a book? You know, if you're saying it's too hard to write, um, are you sympathetic to a reader who's on the internet all day, distracted? Um, does this play? Does this play into the way that your thought process works? Um, you're not writing more in peace, so uh, you're going to make something that is manageable for me. No? I don't think much of the reader. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're both readers, awesome. Yeah. Okay. I think of myself. But I don't think of making something short for myself. Just something that same. That seems like every sentence has been written knowing that it's going to affect every other sentence. I wonder uh, how, if you would agree with this, that it's something almost where the aesthetic and the ethical come together. It's almost a moral. Uh, I, I wish I didn't have to use those words, but let me use those words. It's almost a, it's almost a, 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 a principle to use as, as few words as possible. But of course, sometimes that, that, that those few words become verbal passages. So, but but uh, to not use extra words, to get it down to where each word means exactly what it means is really a principle. Not only only do I like it that way, but it's, 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 it's a demand. Yeah, it's like a principle for the entire life. Like if you're tying to someone, if someone's tying to me, I'd prefer if they had thought for a moment before saying <laughs> Or if they don't just talk forever without asking something. You, you said that you couldn't quite explain um, why writing. But can you explain how you have started writing? Yeah. Why is it? I started reading because I didn't have any friends and I wanted to connect with someone. And I'm not sure if writing came after that or at the same time. But that's probably what motivated me, wanting to reproduce things that I like. And also just because my professors encouraged me. In your case, Lori? I, I have a little tale to tell. I came on a kinder transport to uh, Liverpool in 1938 as a Jewish refugee child. And it seemed to me that my foster parents uh, asked me questions that showed that they did not understand what they must have known since they had come and got me and, and you know, and, and, uh, and were putting and, and giving me a home. But somehow they had imaginatively, that's not a word I would use that can. Uh, but they did not understand what had happened. So I got hold of a little uh, exercise book. And I, I still remember it was purple and had a white label with a red line across it. And I wrote, there were 36 pages, and I wrote them in German. And I wrote what had happened. I wrote it extremely badly. Uh, I have, I've seen this, I found this thing in translation. It was translated by one of my foster sisters. And it's full of the sense which we all know as writers that we're not getting it put properly. And 
all I could do was to add weather, you know, a rainstorm, a, 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 a sunrise, in order to underline this thing that wasn't getting itself said. And that was my, I, I, that was my first piece of writing.